Good morning. It is 10.13 a.m. on Sunday, April 10th, 2022. I'm Christiana Ellis, and I just slept in. This is five more minutes. Uh, it's funny how dogs like their routines, and some, some amount of sleeping in is allowed, and other amounts are not. And so, for example, you get what just happened, which is that Rocket started whining at me to get up, at which point I did, and he stayed in bed, and he's still in the same spot that he was when he felt like I needed to get up. He's a very silly dog. But, you know, that's fine. It's fine. Um, I was, you know, it's about time to get up anyway. But uh, definitely got some good sleeping in done. It's good. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We had a fun session of So Many Levels uh, Root last night, uh, where mostly it was kind of just people talking, but it was, uh, you got some excitement things uh, happening. Uh, and it was a good, like that game is good where the preparation is very much create like a complex scenario with lots of like little interrelated threads but don't like plan what's specifically going to happen. Just, you know, kind of have a scenario and understand what the characters want so that you can have it react to what the party does. And that's largely true of D&D as well, but you have to be a little bit more... Like D&D, because it's sort of more focused on the combat, you tend to have to structure those encounters a little more. I mean, you don't have to, but... Um... Gosh, I'm now I'm distracted. Uh, <laughs> I have too many things that I want to just catch up on. Part of that is just the fact that, you know, I've been playing Elden Ring so much that it has just displaced other things that I might have done instead, right? So, and all, all of it is pretty ordinary, you know, stuff. It's just things like... Um, wanting to keep up with the shows that, and movies that I'm re-watching for the purposes of other podcasts. Um, and, uh, I don't know, just hanging out. Yeah, I don't have any adventurous plans uh, today. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm still feeling a little bit spacey, I guess, having just slept in it so long. But uh, uh, I had some good Chinese food for dinner last night and you know I have some I have some audio to record but my nose is still a little bit stuffy today and so I'm hoping that that can improve before I sit down before behind the mic for for that particular assignment um, but I need to do it soon uh, so I think probably if it's not better tomorrow by tomorrow then I'll I will take proactive steps Oh, speaking of proactive steps, this is something that I kind of hinted at because it, you know, aspects of this subject can be uh, distasteful and uh, and TMI. But uh, I had talked previously, in you know, like a few months ago, um, I had talked about having kind of a digestive issue that I was having uh, frustration with uh, trying to get resolved. Uh, well, I can happily report that uh, it's more or less cleared up, uh, at least in the sense of having found something to do about it, which is to say that uh, there was a long time where I was taking these little uh, probiotic gummies uh, with the expectation that it helps to better balance my intestinal bacteria and such. And I had been taking them for a long time, and then I kind of stopped because I wasn't persuaded that they were actually doing anything. Well, I decided that I would start taking them again, uh, specifically in the way that they are sort of described, which is that you have one like when, you know, at or around meal times, and uh, made a difference. Pretty much better. Now, I don't know if that means I just have to keep taking them forever, maybe, but I, I mean, if that's the price, I'll 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 pay that price. It's not you know they're not they're they're more expensive than you sort of wish they were, but at the same time, if they do the job, uh, it's worth that in 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 my opinion. Um, 
so you know obviously everybody's different this might not work for everybody but um I, it, it was kind of like oh what do you know it's a little bit like uh saying you know if you if you uh you know if you have a headache and you take something for it and your headache goes away but then you decide to stop well i don't know that's not a good example um Never mind. <laughs> I think you understand probably the metaphor that I was going to go for there, but uh, I don't want to do that just because, um, you know, people with, uh, you know, chronic pain and the idea of painkillers, like that's a, that's a fraught issue. There's a very complex stuff going on in there. I'll just leave that alone. But probiotics. Uh, it <laughs> Makes me think uh, on on Twitter, there's a guy who's been live tweeting his experience going through a clinical trial for a dysentery vaccine, um, which has been fascinating, but also includes periods where I'm going like, um, yeah. <laughs> so I'll leave it there for now, and I will talk to you all tomorrow for five more minutes.